video even video when they don't even know the video is going in and they could catch somebody saying something they're gonna regret and these words resurface after a long period of time and they shouldn't be saying them anyway but we all make mistakes we all say things that we regret based on where we come from and everything else and that's what we have to come through as a society as a whole we need to learn to overcome it. We need to learn not to say these horrible things. We need to be prepared not to say it. Because who knows? They could have been in an area their whole life with people saying those words. And in anger they might have said it. This doesn't excuse the action, but it gives better understanding. So when people like Imus, Paula Dean, or Hulk Hogan, or even Mike, Mel Gibson say these comments, It's almost a slap in the face to those who hear it and it damages their image, their brand, and everything else. How do you be, how are you on, how are you going to be on your P's and Q's and not say these things that you later regret? How do you know somebody in your company or your brand is going to say those things? The companies face that all the time, but some companies don't even respect that. And they'll, they won't say what they say. But they'll say it without saying it. How do you keep your company just? It's all about hiring the right people. The right people who believe in your brand. And believe you won't say those things. Even if you rant and you could damage your brand. You'll have to know how to pick up from your actions and atone guilt and feel sorry for yourself and feel sorry and admit your wrongdoing. Many people form apologies but they don't know the damage that they've actually done. They could work 30 years like Hogan, building a reputation and a name, and you wouldn't even expect that being said and that damage to his name and that brand and how it affects, but it does. He has supporters, and I, I, I respect that, I know that 
He made a mistake. He let his anger get the best of him when he said those words. I forgive him as a human being. But I also do support him knowing that he's worked hard through his battles and he is he was changing as a person. There he's working through his differences. Many people don't know the battles that these people face. Many people don't realize that a lot has damaged what they've done. Many people don't feel remorse. They just play these. They just replay and rub the past in their face. How is this so? People do it. People like to remind you of where they actually came from in their past. I know I don't have something that I like to remember, I like to move on from, but that's everybody. That's everybody's story. And I'm saying this, you build your brand off an idea and a purpose. And you got to work towards keeping that purpose and keeping that mission statement and keeping that brand of what you envisioned it to be. Now, many people say harsh stuff. Many people have said it. Many people have been brought up in a family like that. Especially if it was a generation of the past. They see the world differently than we do. My generation, my generation is 35, but even earlier than that, they see it differently. We're older than that. And how do you change the world? Maybe it's a statement. Maybe it's a statement of how far we've come. In the 60s, if in the 1860s, somebody said something like that, we wouldn't think of it twice. You'd be fighting for other purposes. But many years later, it's a change that people are disgusted by it. People are disgusted by that action, by those words. And it is said by many of whatever race and you know and I'm gonna say this people are actually disgusted by his actions and that's a statement that's a statement of how far 
we've actually come. That we will get disgusted by these actions. That we will protect those who those words are being said against. That whenever it's said, we will look out and care for the other individual. That we want to change the way we view our past and the way we view our history. And I know many people still have those prejudices and that those ideas in their head and how do you erase those ideas they were born they were brought up maybe something happened and they believe that way or they had believed that way who knows but to being disgusted about it that's a problem and I know Hogan will later regret those words because he got fired from WWE and he got removed from the Hall of Fame something that Hogan built his reputation and had done so much for that sport that he's an icon that all for some measly, measly words or not some measly words but some horrible words that he said later can regret and damage his image now I can say I don't condone his actions and I'm not going to detail about it maybe I have but I will say this is the stuff that you've got to think about if you're building a brand maybe you lived on a reputation of saying harsh things maybe you haven't I, I don't know you but it's something to think about something to think how you say your words can affect your business it can affect what you're going to stand for and you need to think about this in business you need to think about what you say and how you say it what statement you're going to make for your business do you want some harsh words to tarnish your business, to tarnish your reputation? Do you want problems like such as what was in Walmart or what, what is in such retail companies? I won't even mention some of them but I will say retail has taken a hit just by how they treat the employees and what they do to treat the employees and sure they shop but they don't think of how that's